as previous testing has shown, overload protection on the 12 volt rail of this power supply kicks in at about 23 amps. So I will do the overload test with about 21 and a half amps on the 12 volt rail. This is 65% above what this power supply is rated for. There's 10 amps on the 3.3 volt rail and 5 amps on the 5 volt rail, which gives us a total load of about 300 watts. Consumable complex power is above 650 volt amps, rising to almost 700 in the end of the test. Assuming an efficiency of about 70%, we get a power factor of about 0.61 and active power consumption of 430 watts. After a couple of minutes at 21 and a half amps, a horrible smell started to emerge and reached its peak after about 10 minutes. After 15 minutes the inevitable happened and the power supply failed. It was a short circuit on the mains power side as my B16 circuit breaker tripped. I was hoping for a more dramatic failure considering Cogen was very cheap and notorious for its unreliability a decade ago. It is noteworthy that the 12 volt rail voltage was 10 and a half volts which is unacceptably low as the ATX standard imposes a lower limit of 11 and a half volts. What exactly blew remains a mystery. Bypassing the input electromagnetic interference and transient filter did not help in resuscitating this power supply. The fuse was extremely fragile and broke before I had a chance to assess its integrity. The power supply could not be started any longer.